This video will instruct you on how to replace your Bowden Tube ERC with a direct drive unit. The tools you will need are the number 10 opened end wrench as well as the 3 and 4 millimeter Allen wrenches. Turn the printer off and unplug the power cable. Remove the top acrylic panel. Remove the four large head screws from the top of the ERC. Disconnect the limit switch in the front top left corner and disconnect the two wire connectors for the motors. Remove the four screws from the back panel and remove the back panel. Remove the Bowden tube from the bottom of the extruder assembly by pushing in the black circular press connector. Cut the plastic zip ties. Disconnect the ERC wires from the Rambo board. Clear the belt from underneath and remove the ERC from the printer. Remove the ERC wires and Bowden tube from the printer. Take the direct drive ERC out of the box. Feed the wires through the back panel. Install the new ERC on the printer. Position the belts so that they are clear for movement. Install and tighten the four large head screws on the ERC. Connect the wires for each motor. Connect the wires for the limit switch. The black wire goes on the left post, the white wire goes on the right post. Plug the ERC wires into the Rambo board. The wiring diagram is available in the video description. Add new zip ties. Install the back panel. Plug in and turn the printer on. Open the Apex software. Connect the printer to your computer with the USB cable. In Apex, click on Machine, then click on Add New Machine. In the dialog box, select your printer series, type, and printer. Click Finish. In Apex, click on Machine, Install Default Firmware, Direct Drive, and then choose your firmware version. Use the same lettered version that was previously installed on the printer. Click OK on the dialog boxes. Wait 5 seconds for the printer to reboot and then turn the printer off and on again. Confirm the firmware version at the bottom of the wiki. Auto home the printer and make sure each axis triggers its limit switch. If this does not execute correctly, check your Rambo board connections. Preheat the printer as you have done before for the type of filament you are going to print with. Install the glass sheet.
Apply wolf bite to the glass. Pull the latch to the right and up, then swing the lower arm down. Load the filament into the hot end. Push down until the filament comes out of the nozzle. Close the lower arm and secure the latch. Replace the top dome. Ensure the filament is fed through the back. You're all set. Your printer is ready to use.